there, all you cool kids. We're excited to share some quick facts about kangaroos with you. There are lots of different species of kangaroos, which you can see reflected here in all these different paintings of kangaroos in the Kluge Root Collection. They come in lots of different sizes, from as small as six to eight inches tall to seven feet tall, and they live all over Australia in different habitats. Kangaroos have a number of different features that we can see in this painting. They have two small ears that are pointy. They have two eyes. In this painting, we just see one eye because the artist has shown the kangaroo's face in profile. The kangaroos have a big, long, strong tail and two big, strong legs with three toes on each foot. And they have two little arms with five fingers each. Kangaroos are completely covered in really soft fur. On the left, we have an image of that really soft kangaroo fur. And on the right, we have a detail of the painting we just saw where the artist has tried to replicate that fur with texture and paint. Kangaroos are important in Australia for all kinds of reasons, but they're so important that they're actually featured on the Australian coat of arms. So on the left, we have that painting we saw earlier. And on the right, we have the Australian coat of arms where you can see the kangaroo next to an emu, which is a large bird like an ostrich. Kangaroos are herbivores, which means they only eat plants. So you wouldn't find them eating a cheeseburger. This artist, Johnny Luongo, has painted a lot of different kinds of plants and leaves around the big kangaroo in this painting. Sometimes in Australia, kangaroos even eat people's flower gardens. They especially like roses. Kangaroos are macropods. Macro means big, pod means foot, so it means they have really big feet. You can see in this image how big their feet are. They have three toes, one in the middle is really big and long and the other two are shorter on either side. Kangaroos are the largest animal that hops to move around. Hopping is a very energy efficient way of moving. They can cover a long distance without getting tired. They can cover up to 15 feet in one hop and they can jump up to six feet high. The fastest they can go is 30 miles per hour, which is as fast as a car. Kangaroos cannot hop backwards, but they can swim. When kangaroos hop in the sand, they leave marks in the ground called tracks. You can see here that the line in the middle of the track is where the tail drags against the ground. And the little marks on either side of that wiggly line are where their feet were. From far away, this painting just looks like a lot of circles and lines. But if we look really closely, we can see some kangaroo tracks. Just like the tracks we saw in the sand, these tracks painted by Mcnamarari Joppeljari show the line in the center left by the tail, the V shapes left by the hind feet, and the little E shapes left by the front little hands. Kangaroos have really strong muscular tails. They often use their tail as another leg to lean on and balance with. This kangaroo looks like it might be balancing on its nice strong tail. Sometimes they balance on their tails so that they can use their big hind feet to kick with. In this image, you can see two male kangaroos that are fighting. In this painting, it looks like the kangaroo is balancing on its tail so it can fight with another animal called an echidna. On the right, you can see a photo of an echidna. It looks a little bit like a porcupine. Humans are sometimes friendly with kangaroos, but other times we become their enemies. Aboriginal people have been hunting kangaroos for thousands of years for many different purposes, but the main purpose was for meat to eat them. This might seem strange at first, but kangaroos are really tasty. They taste a lot like a big steak. In this painting, we see a man hunting a kangaroo with a spear and a spear thrower. On the left, you see a spear thrower, also called a woomera. This helps you throw the spear a lot further. On the right, you see a spear. 
Kangaroos are mammals, but they're also marsupials. Marsupials are animals that carry their young in pouches. Baby kangaroos are called joeys. When joeys are born, they're the size of a bumblebee. Eventually, they grow in the pouch after birth for about eight months. After eight months, they can climb in and out of the pouch until they're 10 months old when they no longer fit inside. Baby joeys are potty trained from birth. They don't poo or wee until their mother tells them to. This is another painting of a kangaroo and a joey. Can you find the joey in this painting? You found it. There's that little joey's head poking out of the pouch. Thanks for joining us today to learn more about kangaroos. Check out the other activities in our kangaroo kit. If you want to learn more about kangaroos, check out our webinar on our YouTube page called Ruse Galore.